What's up, everybody? Pumpkin here. So, we have Crimson Curse, and we've got some new leaders. Um, the Northern Realms leader is Queen Kathleen. Um, Kalanthi, sorry. Mispronunciation, I apologize. Um, I'm going to keep doing that anyways, because, yeah, my pronunciation on Gwyn cards is horrific. Anyways, um, it allows you to play Northern Realms faction card from your hand and then draw a card. So, what it allows you to do is kind of like a dandelion effect. Um, you get to, right, dandelions right here. Uh, this card allows you to draw a card and play a card. Um, it, it's similar, but the basic idea is you can play two cards in one round. So it's similar to, like, um, Calvite, right? Except this, it plays from hand instead of from three random cards in your deck. So the the idea with this deck, right, the, the name of the <laughs> deck. So what you could do is you can play Yennefer on the front row, damage the entire board, so damaging your opponent's cards, uh, and then you use Queen and you play Hubert. Um, and this will boost Hubert uh, two times however many units you hit. So you can get some crazy Huberts off of it. Um, if you can play Aquas as well the turn before and your opponent doesn't remove it, great, even more points. Uh, Hubert plus Yen is like 40 point Hubert. It's crazy. Um, so really fun deck. I highly suggest you guys give it a try. Um, I'm not going to say that this is like a tier one deck or anything, but it is a lot of fun. If you're looking for a queen deck, um, this one's pretty good. Um, yeah, it's by no means optimized. I've been playing this for maybe a little bit yesterday and uh, a good chunk today. It's fun, um, but it's by no means optimized. I'll go through the deck really quickly. Um, so Queen, this allows you to basically play another um, engine from your deck. Typically you play Arbalist. There are very niche scenarios where you might need like an officer or an infantry, but typically it's just the Arbalist. Uh, this is the type of card that just helps you win round one. Um, you, you really want to win round one with this deck. It is a combo-oriented deck, so getting blood in round two sucks. So you need to win round one. Uh, feel free to use this card in round one. Yennefer, this is part of your win condition. Never use it in round one. Save it for round three. Huber combo. Very simple. Aquist, same thing. I, typically, you want to save it for round three. Uh, in like traditional Hubert lists with Blaze, you always save Aquist for round three. In this list, because you have Yennefer, if you need this card to win round one, use it. Um, winning round one is more important than saving Aquas for round three, so uh, use it at your discretion. Saltkirk, just a good card. Uh, the reason we're not running Prince, the the new Prince Northgard, or Northern Realms card, which allows you to bypass the uh, order with Zeal, uh, the problem is the card's pretty bad. It be it becomes an Ifrit uh, if you're not playing Meave, and so if you're going to play Prince, you have to play Meave. So uh, we're not playing Meave, so no Prince. So Saltkirk will do. Uh, Enraged Ifrit. It seems like Enraged, Defrid, and Regis Bloodlust are in every deck. Removal is key. Um, there's a lot of engines running around, so yeah, you want both of these in probably every deck. If you're looking to craft neutrals, Ifrit and Bloodlust are very good cards to craft. Good card, obviously. Um, damage a unit by four. Deathblow banish it, so you can kill Harpy Eggs, and it won't spawn the uh, the Harpy. Uh, also, Detlaf. Detlaf, uh, the vampire that resummons itself three times on like Deathwish. Super duper strong card. A lot of people are playing Regis strictly for that card. Uh, in fact, most people are. Uh, because typically you need to kill that, otherwise your opponent's going to get 50 more value on it. Because it's roughly about 20 point gold. Um, so very strong card. So it's a little harder with this deck because you would have to have an Arbalist on the board or any way to ping for one damage before you play Bloodlust. But it's still a really good card nonetheless. Very strong. If you're wondering whether or not you should craft Bloodlust, the answer is yes. It's... <laughs> You have to play it because Kyra next was nerfed. So these are the only two neutrals in the game that do four damage. Botchling, great engine, self-explanatory. Hubert, you need it for the combo. Gimpy, uh, you don't have to play Gimpy if you don't want to, but more re removal is never bad. Uh, Detlaf, the leader, is very strong right now. Um, all the little two-point Ekimaras that come out, Gimpy's pretty good against. It's also good against Foul Blood, the uh, the bear abominations. It's it's pretty good. It's removal. Why not? Uh, you don't have to play it though. If you don't want to. Visigoda, uh, there's no Avalok in this deck, which is typically a good pair with Visigoda. I, I actually play this in round one. I will play an Artificer on the back row, and I'll just slam Visigoda on the round, um, or on the back row. If your opponent removes it, no biggie. Sometimes it gets your opponent to pass, and at the end of the day, that's all you care about. So a lot of times I just use it to get my opponent to get out of the round because they see like, oh, my opponent dumped Queen and Visigoda this round. I'm good. Uh, so they'll just get out. So really strong card. Um, another card that you can flex out if you don't want. It's up to you. Fisher King. So Fisher King's a great card because it uh, helps you with the combo. Um, if you 
don't draw Hubert or you don't draw Yen uh, in round one or two, what you can do is you can play Fisher King um, at the beginning in hopes that uh, hopefully you're not on seven cards. If you're on seven cards, it's a little awkward. If you're on eight cards, you don't care. Um, the idea would be make sure you have Yen, make sure you have Hubert. Um, if you don't have either, it, sorry, if you have both of these two cards, I typically like to save it for round three because of your leader. Because after you use the combo, you draw a card off the top, and you don't really want to draw like a three-point engine or some garbage. So what I typically do is I say Fisher King for round three, and I put a gold on top. Uh, I usually put a Freight, Bloodlust, uh, Gimpy's fine, basically any 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 gold card. I mean, Queen's pretty useless on a top deck. Octus is useless. South Kirk, I mean, it's five. It's, it's better than some of these cards down here. But uh, yeah, ideally it would be like Bloodlust or Freight. Uh, so very, very good card, very good in any kind of combo-oriented deck. Windhelm. I was very surprised with this card. Um, it is good. It's a good card. Um, I mentioned in my last video that I like to play Treant on turn one. I like to play this on turn one. If I have Tactical Advantage, I'll slam Windhelm and slam uh, Tactical Advantage on it because it goes to nine uh, immediately. And your opponent typically can't kill that. Nobody plays Professional. Nobody does because everyone's playing uh, Gregory the Knight and Gregory the Knight has uh, 10 HP. So a lot of people play, or some people play Geralt. So, uh, but not, not, not too many. Just slam Windhelm. It's a great card. If your opponent pops off the shield, you just play Artificer on the melee row and just give it a shield again. Fantastic card. Very surprised with this card. It's good. It's a good engine. If your opponent doesn't deal with it, it goes up to like 12, 14 value. Great card. Uh, Vincent works well with Revenants. Um, yeah, it's a good card. If your opponent plays tall cards, you can remove them. It's a good card. Uh, Revenants, good engine. If your opponent doesn't remove it, it gets a lot of value. Uh, every now and then, I had a game against Usurper today, and which means you can't pull off the combo. Um, I got a few Revenants off because they were playing Spies, and I just used the Revenants to kill the Spies. Uh, and then I ended up using Yen positive on the board uh, because I had so many units uh, and ended up winning the game. So there's a case you play Yen positive if you <laughs> guess um, Usurper, I guess. Uh, so yeah, it's a good card. It's a good engine. Uh, Lear and Arbalist, another very strong engine. Uh, I'll, I'll throw Artifice Shield on this all the time. It's a good card. Uh, Artificer, one of the strongest bronzes in uh, Crimson Curse. It's such a good card. It's a proactive play on the back row. It keeps your engines alive. It's so, so good because people don't want to ping off a shield. It's just it's so frustrating. So very good card. I'll use this to protect Visigoda and people just are like, nah. <laughs> we'll just leave it alone. All right, much cheaper than Avalok. Great card, great card. Tritum. Tritum's a little weird because we're not playing Meave and we're not playing any kind of boost, but we have uh, Enchantress, which we'll go over in a second. Um, it also works with Botchling. It also works with Visigoda. A lot of times, I will have zero hand buff in my hand, like or, or not hand buff, but like boost, and I'll just throw these on the board. Uh, and because Knighthood exists, which is the, the boost a unit on a row by X times, and then your Tritum goes crazy, uh, people will just remove them because it's an engine and people are very scared of it. So I love just slamming tritums down and if your opponent removes them, it means your other engines live. So yeah, I like the card. It works. And if your opponent doesn't remove them, you have uh, Enchantress. Enchantress gives uh, units vitality. Uh, with infantry, it works really well, obviously, because it boosts it by uh, value. Great card. Not bad. Yeah, play the card. Um, and then Centurion Knight. This is a flex card, but really, there's really no better four drop at the moment. Um, it's a it's a wolf pack worst case scenario. A lot of people are playing twos. Um, this most of the time goes off, and if it goes off, it's a six for four, and a six for four is really good. So why not? Yeah, um, yeah. Basic idea: win round one. Do everything you need to win round one. Mulligans, throw away. I typically throw away Yennefer and Hubert, or I'll keep one. I'll keep one. I don't keep both. Just because if you're going hard in a round, you can't afford to play either. Um, win round one, dry pass round two, unless you have Fisher King and you need the combo pieces. Uh, if you have both combo pieces, say Fisher King for round three so that you can uh, choose what your top deck is with Queen. Um, wait until the very end of the game when your hand is uh, Hubert plus Queen, or sorry, Hubert plus Yennefer. Play Yennefer on the melee row, use Queen, play Hubert, get a 40 point Hubert, win the game. Fun deck. Highly suggest you guys give it a try. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. YouTube auto playlist works Everything fine. Has its price. The question I don't need YouTube. Is it worth it? Or Spotify. Benji. Ay, ay, ay. Calm down.
I don't need two of these. Ah, eh, sure, I keep that, it's fine. This guy's pretty meh. Smash it. Don't smash! Can you do Nilfgaard CC decks? You wanna play Nilfgaard? Um, I would suggest go to Freddy Babes. Twitch.tv slash Freddy Babes. Go to his VODs. He was playing an interesting deck. Take a look at his deck. My latest masterpiece. Behold it. Admire. Visgard gets buffed by Dandelion for the number of charges you gain. Sort of neat. May your sword and I don't even know what Visgard is, but sure. Thanks. Sure. Time for a beating. I don't want him popping my shield. Advertising girlfriend? Hey, what's wrong with that? I shall not fail. Sintra! Hmm, he's pretty good. Is he just not gonna deal with maybe he has professional? This guard is a card that gains one charge for each boost. Oh, the five drop. Or five HP. What was it? What, what was the statement? This guard gets buffed by Dandelion for the number of charges you gain. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. I, I understand. No, 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 never mind. I, I get it. I get it. Thank you, chat. I understand. <laughs> I wasn't comprehending what you were saying. I kind of want to just pass. No, I should go one deeper. I'm going to do this because this card never lives. It just gets Dragooned. And it means I get two extra points on Windhelm. Okay. Because this card blows against Squirtle. They just Dragoon it. This Windhelm got a shit ton of value. It got 14 value. Do you guys ever play Queen on... Uh, this Whatever this shit's called. Oh, we just need the Hubert. All right, so we slam Hubert on top with this, right? Yeah. Now we pass. No, why? Well, because you get more procs, right? Because it's like a, it's like operating it, and then you get a, the extra vitality, which is kind of cute. Is Pumpkin going for twenty four hours? No, 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 no. I'm streaming until I'm tired. I got more sleep last night, so I can go pretty. Eh, I don't know how much longer we'll go. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, four golds and this card. Nah, this card blows. Just get rid of it. Yeah. Ugh, sure. Pretty useless. We have no boost. I can watch you all night. Yeah. Me too. Don't you fret about me. Maybe we can debate him. You think we can debate him? I think we can debate him. Oh, it's genius. We'll play two Tridems and then go Yen positive. Blood and neck and oh, one Jabate down. Go for Jabate number two. Huh. Awaiting your orders. Ha. Oh, the Jabate. They're working. They're working, boys. The Jabatums. There are things in the universe of which even the sages have not dreamt. It's working. 
Have you been playing Portal at all? No, because I'm never going to draw it in round one. It's only good if you draw round one, and let's be real, I'm never going to draw it in round one. There's no point in playing it. Humans are not. Oi! Alright, debate number... What number is this? Three? Complete. The good of magic. That is what I serve first and foremost. This is debate number four. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, nice. It looks like the Arbalist is gonna live. I mean, he has no other locks. Someone plays Morin. Why is Portal only good round one? Because you want the thinning. No. Don't. Why? It's just a measly little feather boy. What did he ever do to you? Alright. Well, the good news is this Revenant 100% is gonna live. There's zero chance he kills this. Double leader? No, he's not gonna double leader this! You little shit. Whatever, I don't care. Doesn't matter. It's fine. Okay, so we played Cockfist in the front, right? Nope, just kidding! I kid. So normally Cockfit. Why am I saying that? Normally Aquas is in the, in the front is correct because this way he Brewers it. It plays around Brewer, but because of the crushing, it doesn't matter. I play this here. Also, we're supposed to ping because this card is dead. So we might as well take our free point. Okay. Can you play unit, please? Please don't play Pitfall. I can't- I can't- I can't do Pitfall. That's fine. That is really good for me. It's more points for Pumpkino. Alright, so now we play this on the range row so that we can boost our entire board. There'll be nothing to pick up when I'm done with you. Mm, good finisher, 10 out of 10. I shall teach the lesson they okay. Alright, last card, shit card. Why be oh my gosh. I hate ties so much! May your blade never dull. Why? Why are you on top? Why not like a gold card? Piece of shit. Ugh. 